Welcome to the heart of steelmaking where molten iron transforms into the versatile material that shapes our world. It all begins here, with molten iron extracted from iron ore in the fiery depths of blast furnaces. To refine this molten iron into steel, we employ two common methods, the basic oxygen furnace and the electric arc furnace. In the BOF oxygen is injected into the molten iron, reducing carbon and other impurities. Meanwhile the EAF method uses electricity to melt scrap steel and refine it into steel. Once the steel is formed, alloying elements are added to tailor its properties. For a 36 grade 50 steel, carefully controlled amounts of carbon, manganese, phosphorus, sulfur and other elements are introduced. These additions ensure that the steel exhibits the desired strength, durability and weldability. Now, let's explore some common uses of A36 grade 50 steel in construction. From structural beams and columns to bridge components and building frames, a 36 grade 50 steel provides the strength and versatility needed to support heavy loads and withstand harsh conditions. But machining A36 grade 50 steel requires skill and precision. Here are some practical tips for machining this versatile material. Choose the right cutting tools such as high-speed steel or carbide for optimal performance. Use coolant or lubricants to dissipate heat and improve tool life. Adjust cutting parameters based on the specific machining operation and workpiece geometry. Ensure stability and rigidity in the machining setup to minimize vibration and chatter. Control chip formation and evacuation to prevent tool damage and achieve a smooth surface finish. Regularly inspect and maintain cutting tools for sharpness and proper geometry. From molten iron to the finished product, a 36 grade 50 steel plays a crucial role in shaping the world around us.